President-elect Donald Trump will actually relax today with family. The brief break comes as he's getting increased scrutiny over his cabinet picks and also how he's handling a critical part of his transition, intelligence briefings. Intelligence officials tell NBC News President-elect Donald Trump has received only two intelligence briefings since winning the White House, far fewer than the near daily briefings that are expected. The revelation first reported by the Washington Post, which noted Vice President-elect Mike Pence has gotten briefings almost every day. When President Obama was transitioning to the job eight years ago, he asked for extra deep dives into topics from Iran to Syria. While some in the intelligence community say Trump, a political novice, is missing a golden opportunity to get up to speed, one senior intelligence official cautions it's too early to draw broad conclusions. Meanwhile, late Wednesday, the president elect sending a thanksgiving message to the public in a video produced by his transition team. It's my prayer that on this thanksgiving, we begin to heal our divisions and move forward as one country. Mr. Trump also adding to his administration. After tapping a succession of loyalists, president-elect Trump is now aiming for diversity. Naming South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley as his choice for ambassador to the United Nations. Haley, a rising star in the GOP, was a fierce Trump critic during the campaign, quickly changing her tone. While I won't pretend to have always been President elect's biggest cheerleader, <laughs> I did vote for him, and I was absolutely thrilled to see him win. Trump praising Haley as a deal maker, but critics say she lacks serious foreign policy experience. His other pick, Betsy DeVos for education secretary, another rival turned supporter. She's a billionaire GOP donor and advocate for school choice. Her selection was hailed by Jeb Bush, but panned by the nation's largest teachers union, which called her an ideological and anti-public education nominee. And this morning, there is growing momentum among Democrats who are demanding a recount after several computer scientists say they found evidence of voting irregularities in three key states. In fact, third party candidate Jill Stein has raised millions of dollars for the effort. The Clinton campaign isn't weighing in, but Secretary Clinton's lead in the popular vote has now grown to more than two million. Willie Tamron. Kristen Welker with Thanksgiving's most beautiful backdrop, yeah, is, among yeah. other things. Kristen, thanks so much. Indeed. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.